Hello everybody, I'm Chantal. I'm Cody. This is Unit 7, New Options for Renters. So, as the title tells us, this is probably about living and accommodation and rent. And obviously we're talking about Seoul. As everybody knows, <laughs> living in Seoul is really expensive. And I think it, it's everybody wants to live in Seoul, so there's also sometimes a lack of decent accommodation or even affordable accommodation. So the government wants to kind of start a new thing. They are hoping to create 35,000 new homes or living spaces in the city by repurposing office rooms, office buildings and also hotel rooms. Now for some people it might seem a little strange to have to live in a hotel, but it actually isn't too uncommon in other countries. But to, to go back a little, um, uh, basically what would happen is it would stay the same. In Korea we use the John Say system and they would still use that. You give a big amount of money, probably about half of what the, the value of the property is to the owner and then you get to live there. Banks are mostly quite willing to, to give out these loans of the John Say amount because they know that it is backed by collateral. Back. Back. Collateral. Collateral. Do you live in an apartment or in a house? In Korea, I, I fail to see a big distinction between an apartment <laughs> and a house. That's a very American style question. Mm -hmm. Or maybe European as well. Uh, right. Uh, you know, yes, it's an apartment officially office till. Yes. Which those barely exist in America. They might be called studios or flats. In right. Uh, kind of the one room style, yes. open. Uh, although they're still bigger in America. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not New York. Uh, they are the exception to every housing rule. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, but uh, in America, I always lived in a house. Uh, I was used right. to it. So uh, here, I currently live in an apartment. How about for you? Same. Mm -hmm. um, by South African standards, at my office style would be called a studio. Mm -hmm. um, a flat would be, you know, you've got two or three rooms at least. Oh, okay. And same, I grew up in a house, a garden, all of that. Yeah. It's also quite a normal concept in South Africa. I think just generally the cost of living here is too high for people to be able mm -hmm. to afford a house and everything that goes with it. Right. Yes. yes. And I don't necessarily think it's the construction cost of the house, it's mm. the land. Mm. Uh, you know, the general cost of living in Seoul, um, I'm always comparing it back to America. Yes. I don't find it that much more expensive for like my necessities and groceries right. and transportation. That cost of living is relatively fine. It's mm. just the housing is the biggest. It's right. the big chunk of my bill, essentially. Right. Cost of living. Cost of living. Chunk. Chunk. In the area you're currently living in, mm -hmm. is real estate expensive? Uh, it's, well, it's cheaper than I would say the rest of Seoul, yes. perhaps. Right. Um, I. Previously lived in the Jamsho area, so yeah. it was a pricier. Uh, I think just just barely cheaper mm, than Gangnam. Mm -hmm. Now I live closer to Gimpo, uh, and it's much cheaper. Mm. So I'm happy about that. I am saving money. Right. Actually, I calculated I'm saving 36 percent per month. So That's a lot. It is a lot. That's a great amount. <laughs> so I'm saving that away. How about for you? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I live in Gangnam, so <laughs> and now yeah. I'm not rich. Okay, I'm an English teacher, so. But uh, it's crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. um, you know, honestly speaking, I think not just the expensive areas, for me in general, mm -hmm. real estate in, in Korea and in Seoul is expensive. Because mm -hmm. a lot of places require the, the lump sum, you know, deposit of chance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't have that type of cash just lying around all the time. Right. So then we have to pay the higher rent monthly you yeah, know, yeah. payments. And that's expensive. According to South African standards, it's pricey. Lump sum. Lump sum. Now for the language focus. First up is when it comes to, for example, 
Istanbul is an amazing city to visit when it comes to historical attractions and architecture. And for mine, prefer not to. I would prefer not to take Line 9 when it's busy, but it's the only one to the office. That's it for the preview section and please join us for the review.